Hey one hey all, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to kick off our look at Studio Series Devastator. Well, kind of. By way of the Aoi, I hope I'm saying that right, Mech KO of Studio Series Devastator. How well did it turn out? I don't know, but we're going to kick things off with this guy first. This is Roaring, better known to many as Skipjack. And he's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got by True review. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe while you're at it, lie to my baby. And hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that's in the description down below, by the way. Also in the description down below, and if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course hit the join button right here on YouTube. Shh. It's so you can become a channel member. And this is boring. It is, a lot of people got the red version, it's Rampage, or the yellow version, it's Skipjack. The yellow version is a little more screen accurate. Cool looking tractor mode, cool looking leg mode, I guess? wild robot mode that's got some hits and some misses. So without any further ado, let's head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And yes, indeed, we're going to kick things off with looking at the, I think it's pronounced, uh, Aoi, KO of the Studio Series Devastator. This is on loan by a buddy of the channel, Maximal 10, so we'll see how this goes. Um, this guy kind of came with instructions, but he is the only one who kind of came with instructions. This, of course, is their iteration of Rampage or Skipjack, if you will. Of course, before we look at him, we got to look at, you know what I'm going to say, the packaging first, baby. And it's packaging. I mean, it is what it is. There's nice artwork there. He is super deformation, super warrior. On the side, nothing, just the art continued. Over here, just deformation. And then on the back, we have a an actual image of him in his tractor mode, and um, cool, I guess. As for his instructions, it's just this sad little pamphlet. Um, yeah, it's a two-sided sad little pamphlet. And so, yes indeed, here we have our boy Skipjack. And I say Skipjack because I'm pretty sure that Rampage is the red lad. Uh, in terms of the coloration, this looks pretty good. It looks like Skipjack for the most part. I will note that these smokestack pieces here are black by Rife with Skipjack. I believe they're gray. Uh, we have the gunmetal grip here. The little slider for that front wheel in the center is orange here or, or yellowy rather than uh, the gray that it should be on Skipjack. And the foot piece that's down under here is gray on the KO. It's black, I believe, on the actual one. I think that's the only kind of coloration differences. Um, we have some a, a, like extra detail right here on the tractor piece, but I think otherwise it's it's pretty similar. This rolls tremendously well. I mean, it's too bad that we don't have working treads, but I mean, it is what it is. It's just the way the transformation and whatnot needs to go. I'm going to. I think I'm going to try and do foot mode and then we will go to robot mode and I'll do all the scores and then. Please bear in mind I have no instructions so this might be a little bit rough. We'll see how it goes. So mostly the foot is the treads and this. That's what I figured out with the whole center section here really kind of angling up to become the leg part for the most part. So we begin uh, by flipping down that and flipping this up. And we do the same on the other side. We flip that down and we flip this up. And I believe then we pick the... Actually, <laughs> we open this down and open this down. And we take that whole section up. Then I'm just going to close that up for now. Then we pick off the side and pick off the side. And we can put down the kind of main pieces here. And I think this whole piece angles up, if I'm not mistaken, and kind of angles like this, so that we actually will have an ankle tilt. Now we get to these sections here. 
this piece here, um, let's see if I can figure this out now. I'm pretty sure that Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this tire needs to come down. So the tread is out, the tire piece comes down, and this, I'll call it claw piece, comes down. This whole piece turns, I don't know what we call it here, like part way. It comes to the side and folds all the way down and around. Um, and then that's going to come in and over to the side. Should be able to get it just in a pass there to tab it in straight up there and I should be able to close this up and bring that piece back up. Should be able to close all that up and have this out. And then that kind of comes down around the bottom. We have to do the same thing on the other side here. So we lift this down, we pull down the tire section and the claw section. So we have all of that brought down. We bring this in or I guess could you take it out? No, you gotta do it in. We bring that piece in, straighten it up, bring it out, flip it all the way over, and then I believe, yeah, we bring it to the side and tab it in, and then we get it up here. By the way, you'll notice that there are screws here. Pretty sure it's just rivets in the actual one. Then we should be able to bring these two uh, feet pieces, we'll call it together. I'm just going to push that claw up, push that wheel back up, and close that up. And I'm going to put these two claw pieces together. It's a slider on this. I don't know if the actual one is a slider or not. There, once they're together. And I'm pretty sure that, boom, here we have the leg foot mode. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this might serve as a knee. Maybe, I'm not sure how this connects. So that might serve as a knee. We do have an ankle tilt. We do have all the leg, oh, and then these can go back up on the side. I think that's it. And if I'm missing something, then, and I don't, I don't really have those tabbed together, but you get the idea. I think that's it. If I'm missing something, then, man, I apologize. But like I said, I'm doing this without any benefit of instructions. I guess you could also angle this back, so. I don't know, an like ankle tilt forward and back to the side and a knee, I guess, for Devastator. I really gotta get those pieces together, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, um, I, I guess, like, it makes sense. Pretty darn easy to get here. Fairly solid, well, once I put these together. Like I said, I don't have these slid in just because they're, at this distance, it's a nuisance for me to do it. But once they're in, honestly, this is a pretty solid foot and holds together well. What about for the actual robot mode? Well, the robot mode's not too hard. Um, we'll actually leave this out because this is going to kind of become the lower body. As a matter of fact, we could even take this piece and we open out this toe and we put this in and we could stand it up. I'm going to readjust things so we can do the upper body next. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, we take the tread off, we bring this piece all the way up, we take the tread off, we bring this piece all the way up, and we open the arms out. We next should be able to, again, bring down that claw, or bring up that claw, whatever you prefer, bring this down, and then this piece, no, I'm going to have to bring the claw actually down, my mistake, then this piece again. Again, should I think be able to rotate out so I can bring these claws back down. Why it's not doing it now, I'm not sure. Let's try it on this side. Bring this up, bring this out, bring this claw section up. Ah, there we go. It was just getting caught. Bring this all the way over and down and pegs in on the bottom and then all the way around here. Bring this back. By the way, there's like a, a, a little rectangular tab on the other side of this arm and it pegs into a section here. It It's in further for combined mode and for robot mode so that the toe isn't really in um, what, like in the way of it as much or not the toe, the tire isn't in the way as much um, but it 
hangs down lower in the um, vehicle mode so that it can actually roll. That one actually went all, all right. By the way, yes, there is another claw here. I cannot get it to move on the KO. It's not mine. So there should be another claw out here. I'm not fighting to get it down because, like I said, it's not mine. But it is there. And it probably does it. I just can't get it to do it. We take the head and we turn it that away. We can take the body and bring it up like that, I guess, if you're inclined. This one over here, it must be the same sort of issue that I'm having with just not, yeah, getting it past the thing. So then we should be able to take this and flip it all the way around and bring it in and down. We can also, by the way, take these claws and they move back a little bit just to give you extra space in here. And then this claw comes down and this piece comes up, this is like this. And really, boom, in the end here we have Skipjack in his robot mode. And boy, oh boy, does this guy look like an oddity. So the transformation, honestly, it's interesting. I'll give it that. It seems like it should be more complicated than what it is. I'm going to say that the transformation is about... It's about a 9. It's actually pretty good on this KO. I don't know what it's like on the actual one, but it's not bad here. Everything's pretty solid. The only reason I give it a 9 instead of higher is because I can't... Like, this is supposed to just unpeg and flip down, and I can't get it to do it on either side. Maybe somebody better than me can, but where this isn't mine, I really don't want to push the issue. What about the look of the guy? <sighs> Again, if we compare it to the actual Skipjack, this is pretty good. Arguably, the face here might have a little darker gunmetal gray color rather than more of a silver. Um, we still have the silver here on the sides. It looks pretty accurate for the most part to what the actual guy is. I just wish I could get that other claw down. That's a slight bummer, not gonna lie. So, nine for the transformation. The articulation, we have a head that can go left and right. We have a neck that looks up that far. It can look way down though. Um, and I guess you can actually keep it all the way out. It's just, I find in here a little hollow, so that's why I leave the head down a bit. He does have a waist. Um, he can bend back. Uh, he has a great ab crunch if you wanna use the hinges in here. Right? Um, not really anything down here, because he, he just like pogos, I guess. The arms can go all the way around. They can go well out to the side. This can move any way you want it to. Um, there is what I'm gonna call a bicep swivel up here. The claw, both claws by right, can move in and out, and they have another hinge there. The Claws on this side, they can move back a little bit, as I pointed out with the tread, and they can bend in. Now, he doesn't have an elbow, but if you want to get this tire piece out of the way, I mean, that inside claw, because the transformation can bend, I, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if you want it out like this, I don't know if you want to go through that much trouble to get an elbow or not, but I mean, if, if you really wanted to, it's, it's a doable thing. I don't know if it's a worthwhile thing. Also, we can take out these uh, smokestacks. They holster in right there, and you can take them out, and they peg in, I believe. How is it they peg in? There you go. There's a little uh, rectangular port in the middle of the hand, and you use the same rectangular peg that it pe pegs in on its like hip width, and it can go in his hand as a handheld blaster. Articulation, I'm gonna say is about, I, like, it's good for what it is, but the whole design is kind of weird. I, I wish we had elbows that are sensible. I, I, we can't have two working legs, so this is the about as good as the guy's gonna get. How he's supposed to move, I'm not really sure. I'm going to say a 9 because the way it's designed it works generally well and you can fake an elbow so I'm going to say a 9 objectively. Subjectively I'm thinking like a 6, you know, like it's so weird and hard to kind of score this. So we have a 9 and a 9 in terms of the look. Again, I don't even remember Skipjack. I don't know if we saw Skipjack in the film to be honest with you. I don't recall it. Again, I'm going to say that's about a 9. You know, if he was red, I believe that it's film rampage, right? So overall, he's a nine for what he is. It's actually a pretty good offering. Who knew? 
And yes, sir, yes, sir, here we are, and here he is, and he's in leg mode now. This is the way we're going to see him next time we see him. I didn't really, like, need to do much in the way of comparisons here. We were able to kind of stick to the nuts and bolts because we will look at this Devastator next to the, uh, my... Combiner Wars Titan class Devastator when the time comes. We're going to look at Constructicons next to Constructicons. In G1, there is no counterpart to this guy. Technically, there's no counterpart to this guy. Um, but we'll talk about that more when we get to the combined mode. That said, it's an all right lower leg. It's a big foot. It looks like it's going to be a big leg. I do like that we have a little bit of an ankle tilt here. The robot is functional for what it is. I do wish that we had some better semblance of an elbow other than when you kind of move half the arm up, and that's pretty rough. I get it. The articulation might be somewhat limited in robot mode, but it's because the robot mode is such a wild, wacky design. Interestingly, I think the transformation between all modes is easier than I anticipated it being. Looks good, functions fine, transforms well. Overall, as weird as he is, and not for everybody, Skipjack is pretty successful in my books. At least the KO version is. Let me know what you think about Skipjack. I appreciate you guys coming by giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. Or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube. Become a channel member, baby. Um, while you're at it, hit the subscribe button, stick around, have some fun with us. Don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single solitary day, you right there, you do make a difference. And I look forward, baby, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way right here inside the videos.